Iadema is commonly believed to have been born on December 26, 1935, in the northern district of Pia, a village in the Koza prefecture of the Kara region, to a peasant family of the Kabai ethnic group. However, there is a dispute regarding this date. According to Komi M. Tulabur, Iadema's official birth date is questionable, suggesting that he was likely born around 1930. His mother later became known as Mamen Danida or Mamen Danidaha. In 1953, Iadima enlisted in the French army after completing primary school. He served in both the French Indochina War and the Algerian War. After nearly a decade in the French army, Iadima returned to Togo in 1962. He played a key role in the 1963 Togolese coup d'état against President Sylvanus Olympio, who was assassinated during the uprising. Iadima's involvement in the murder has been widely claimed. Subsequently, he aided in installing Nicholas Grunitsky as the new president. However, for years later, Iadima fell out with Grunitsky and orchestrated a second military coup against him. This time, there was no violence, and Grunitsky fled into exile in Paris. Iadima declared himself president on April 14, 1967, concurrently appointing himself defense minister. He retained both positions for nearly 38 years. According to Komi M. Tulabur, a researcher at the Centre d'Etudes d'Afrique Noire, Iadima maintained power for 38 years through a series of coups, electoral fraud, military support, foreign backing, especially from France, and strategic control over Togo's limited economic resources. Three years after seizing power, Iadima established the rally of the Togolese people as the sole legal party in the country. He won an uncontested election in 1972 and subsequently dominated the political landscape. In 1979, a new constitution ostensibly restored civilian rule, but the RPT remained the only sanctioned party. The party president automatically became the presidential candidate, further consolidating Iadema's power. He was re-elected unopposed in 1979 and 1986. Iadema survived numerous assassination attempts, including a 1974 plane crash and an attack by a bodyguard. He maintained control through a mix of coercion and political maneuvering even as a national conference in 1991 briefly curtailed his authority. Despite facing opposition, Iadema manipulated a multi-party election in 1993 to prolong his rule. In 2002, constitutional changes removed presidential term limits, allowing Iadema to extend his tenure. Speculation arose about a potential dynastic succession, as the minimum age for the presidency was lowered, coinciding with his son for Nassing Bay's eligibility. Iadema wielded significant influence internationally, serving as chairman of the Organization of African Unity from 2000 to 2001 and attempting mediation in the Ivorian Civil War. Efforts to democratize Togo faced resistance, exemplified by the European Union's aborted mission in 2004 due to government-imposed restrictions. Despite international pressure, Iadema maintained a firm grip on power, justifying his authoritarian rule as reflective of Africa's unique democratic trajectory. Iadema fostered an extensive personality cult, characterized by various extravagant displays of adoration. This included a retinue of 1,000 dancing women who celebrated him, portraits in nearly every store, a bronze statue in Lome, and even wristwatches featuring his portrait that alternately disappeared and reappeared every 15 seconds. Additionally, a comic book portrayed him as a superhero endowed with invincibility and super strength. Notably, Iadema commemorated the anniversary of a failed assassination attempt as the defeat of victory over forces of evil. He further enhanced his image by changing his first name from Etienne to Nassing Bay to commemorate the 1974 plane crash, of which he claimed to be the sole survivor. However, in reality, Iadema was not the only survivor of the crash. Despite this, he misrepresented the incident to portray himself as a heroic figure with extraordinary resilience. Iadema alleged that the crash was not an accident but a deliberate plot by imperialists opposed to his plans to nationalize a crucial phosphate mining company. Following the crash, his C-47 aircraft was replaced by a Gulfstream II presidential jet, which also met a fatal end later that year, though Iadema was not on board during the incident. On February 5, 2005, Iadema passed away aboard a plane 250 kilometers, 160 miles, south of Tunis, Tunisia, while being transported for urgent medical treatment abroad. The government confirmed his death, citing a heart attack as the cause. At the time of his passing, Iadema held the record as Africa's longest-serving head of state. Following Iadema's death, Zachary Nanja, the chief of the Togolese army, declared Iadema's son, for Nassing Bay, as the new president of Togo. 
However, this move was swiftly denounced as a military coup d'état by Alpha Omar Konare, the president of the Commission of the African Union, and faced criticism from the international community, including ECOWAS. Under mounting pressure, Fornasing Bey resigned on February 25. Bonfo Abbas, the first deputy parliament speaker, assumed the presidency until presidential elections were held on April 24, 2005, in which Fornasing Bey was elected president with 60% of the vote. Ayadema's funeral took place on March 13, 2005, and was attended by several heads of state and international dignitaries, including Presidents Matthew Karaku of Benin, John Kufur of Ghana, Laurent Bagbo of Ivory Coast, Mamadou Tanja of Niger, and Olushegun Obasanjo of Nigeria. On March 15, Ayadema's family and members of the RPT party paid their final respects to him in his hometown of Pia. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal in the description box below.